Hey everybody, we're once again gonna be working on the Troy built pony lawn tractor. And I bought this thing brand new in 2006. So I wrote it on the owner's manual. I actually still have the owner's manual. And what's good about having the owner's manual of these things is I need to replace this belt, which is number 30. Number 30 is 754-0401A and that is the belt that is the drive belt. There's also a transmission belt here. So what we're gonna have to do first is take the transmission belt off first to get to get to take this other belt off. Now here's one thing. I just put two brand new belts on this lawn tractor at the beginning of this season. They they're slipping already. They didn't last. I did not buy the OE belt. This time I went out and bought the OE belt. And it already looks like this belt is thicker here because what's happening is this drive belt is actually slipping up on the engine pulley, not back on the variable speed pulley. I thought there was a problem with the variable speed pulley because I was like, I just put new belts on this. But it's because I did not buy the original equipment belt. I bought an original equipment belt and I'm gonna show you how to put it on. So first thing is, we got it up on the jack stands so we can access underneath it. So first thing you wanna make sure is take the key out of the ignition, give that to my assistant, open it up, disconnect the plug wire. You do not want this lawn tractor in any form of way to start up. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to flip the seat up and we need to get the battery out. The battery's held in by, I do believe, a 716 slash 11 millimeter wrench. We're gonna get the battery out and I'll get underneath here and start showing you how to replace that belt. All right, also too, I have the rear wheel blocked with a piece of wood so the lawn tractor will not roll off the ramps. We've got the battery taken out and as you look in here, this is the transmission pulley, and then it reaches on up. And that pulley right there is the variable speed pulley that gives you your gears. And then there is the idler for the variable speed pulley. Underneath that pulley right there is the drive belt. So we have to take this belt off first to get to the drive belt. So the first thing you wanna do is come underneath here on this side and there is this spring right here this is what holds the tensioner pulley for the transmission belt the upper one from here it's quite easy you can just grab it push on it and disengage it and now it's disengaged right there so see how it just flops back and just leave leave the spring there now you can come back up top And now you can take the belt and slide the belt off. So, and we're not we're we're not, we're not going to replace this belt. I think this belt is okay. So this belt can just slide right off. And if you notice, the machine slid backwards because now we've disengaged the transmission from the drive belt. So now that we've got that belt off. Um, now we have to get the drive belt off and you can see right here there has a metal tang it has a metal retainer here to keep the belt on on both sides so we're gonna have to take this pulley loose to get it off the machine let me get started on taking that loose and uh, we'll be right back all right, while we're waiting for the compressor to pump up so we can use our impact gun to get the variable speed pulley out, I went ahead, there is a bolt right here underneath the machine that holds this bracket. This bracket is what retains the belt onto this pulley. So I took the bolt out of here, dropped this down, and took the belt off of this pulley because the drive belt is way up, up in here. And there's gonna be 
probably a couple more bolts maybe we might have to take the motor loose to get the belt off of the engine so we're waiting for the compressor to build up some air and once we get that we'll come back underneath here and of course the flashlight has dropped we are going to be taking this 13 millimeter bolt out here to get the variable speed pulley to come up so we can get the belt off the variable speed pulley so once the compressor has built up we'll come back all right we're all set up here with the impact gun g jr's holding the top of the pulley with a couple rags and we're gonna hit it and there it came right on out all righty see if that whole pulley assembly will lift up now a little bit will it lift will it lift up that's lifting up yep all right hold on stop it right there let me come around in there let me come up here all right here just let it go just let it go it's, it's lifting up and staying okay let me get the light in here so everybody can see so now that we got that bolt out of the bottom there we can lift up on this pulley to disengage it and now we can take the belt off of the pulley so there is the belt off the pulley and while we have it apart like i said i was going to buy one of these but let's take a look at it and see if it's in good shape so so this is the variable speed pulley this is what gives you the your gears in your tractor the drive belt off the engine comes in here and then your other belt hooks in here so as you shift it the one belt gets shorter or longer and then this pulley moves up and down to take up the difference kind of like a 10 speed bike and you can actually see how this pulley is wearing see how it's got it's 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 worn it's kind of got waves in it is the camera picking that i don't know if the camera's picking yeah, it's picking, picking that up or bit. not actually this pulley i think it might need to be replaced might need to be replaced it might be wearing out this thing is um you know 14 years old so this this pulley appears to be working properly it's free like it's supposed to be but it's worn we might have to get a new one and like i said you just take that bolt out and then you can slide this pulley out of its bearings the bearings seem to be okay now we have the belt off at this end so now we need to go and figure out how to take the belt off up here at the engine and hand me the flashlight down there and go cut the compressor off the compressor has a pretty big leak so if you see right here right right here these are metal tabs that are bent down from the frame of it to keep this belt retained from coming off you can see if i could force it I could get it out but i don't know if i'm going to be able to force the new belt up in there so actually i was able to force that and i was able to get the whole i was able to get it, the belt off that one piece and now i'm stuck on there we go okay i was able to force that belt out of that new piece let's go get the new belt and let's take a look Okay, so like I said, this belt is not that old. As you can see, you can still read all the numbers. It's a laser, replaces uh, 9540401A. This belt is supposed to be the replacement. So let's take a look at the original replacement and let's see if there's a lot of difference. Well, the first difference that I see is The original belt is just like a millimeter wider. Now that could be just because of wear. Um, and on the inside, close the drop. Um, let's see, is the inside? Well, it's hard to tell. We're going to try the original replacement belt. If this belt starts slipping then we're going to definitely change the variable speed pulley because it definitely is worn. Uh, let's go back over to the machine here. And um, let's take our flashlight and look up here. 
at this pulley here because this is where it was slipping and it's hard to tell from this angle let me put my finger up in there you know it's it feels like it might be worn too maybe i'm having a bunch of different problems one of the problems is, is the pulleys are worn and the belts just aren't big enough so i'm going to go ahead and replace the belt for now see if it works and if it works it has fixed the problem if not we are definitely going to get i, I think it's we're going to get we're going to get some new pulleys we're going to get some new pulleys because um this is they're definitely worn you can see the grooves in them see the grooves so once these pulleys grew this pulley here is 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 infinitely adjustable basically so i would think that this would be okay well we'll we're going to put it all back together and see how it works so now what we need to do is we need to put the belt back on here feed the belt back in so it doesn't rub on anything underneath the machine put it back on this pulley reinstall this pulley put the bolt back in the bottom of this pulley and then put the other drive belt back on top it's going to be hard to film putting everything back together but you get the gist of how hard it is to put a belt on one of these mowers let me go ahead and put the belt all back on the mower and we'll take it for a test drive and see if it seems like it's grabbing better i should be able to tell if it's grabbing better all right everybody um we'll be back with one more video probably after this all right i got it down off the ramps it's running let's go see if it's any better everybody it does seem better um will time will tell to see what happens here it's not slipping now it feels like it's really really tight so if those pulleys are worn we're gonna have to get another set of pulleys luckily i have the book i have the part number so i can order the two new pulleys and probably another belt so with these machines here they definitely say do not go get go get a uh, belt from the auto parts store because they won't work right and that i definitely know because i put one of those on one time and they only lasted like a day but i needed my my belt all right everybody well i'm gonna leave it at this one so that's an overall view on how to take the belt off you put the belt back on the same way um it seems to be better so we'll try it if it doesn't we will be buying new pulleys and i will put a note in the description if i eventually had to buy new pulleys for this all right everybody i'm gonna leave it here please subscribe you can always do that right there in that corner please give me a thumbs up if you like the videos please give me a thumbs down if you don't like the videos please like and share and we will all catch you later